Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mina and welcome everyone to my third tutorial. Alright, so today we will be playing with ink cloth inside of Maya. I'll be showing you a very cool technique that you can use it if you have a dense mesh and every time you try to change it to an ink cloth object, it doesn't work because it's very heavy on the system or getting Maya crashed. So instead, I found a workaround that we can use a proxy as our ink cloth object and then we connect it to our dense mesh through a wrap deformer. I have actually used the same technique to make this animation right here. Let's take a look at this. So I have used the same technique to destroy the scarp and I've used uh, this T-Rex leg as, an, as a collider body actually. And also we will be digging deeper inside of ink cloth dynamic properties to get this kind of meta deformation that we want to achieve. Alright, so all of that and more coming up here inside of Maya 2018, so let's get it started. Alright, so welcome back. So, in order to have this kind of meta deformation that we want to do, we need to go and customize some settings in the dynamic properties for the in cloth itself. Because if I make a sphere, and if I open the effects menu under in cloth, and if I create in cloth from the sphere, now if I hit play, Okay, now it's, it's falling down, so what we can do is come to the Nucleus 1 and use the ground plane. Now, if you hit play, it's really behaving like a piece of cloth. But this is not what we want to do. We want it to be more like a soft body being deformed, more than just a piece of cloth. So, to do so, what we can do under ink cloth, we can increase the bend resistance to 150. No, 150. All right. And the deform resistance, we can increase it to 1. Now, if I hit play, as you can see now, it's just resisting the deformation more and it's behaving more like a soft body. So, I want the animation to start from here. So, what we can do is to select our object under fields and solvers. We can choose initial state and set for selected. Now, if we rewind at the beginning, as you can see, it just starts from this position. Now, if I came to the poly modeling menu and if I made a cube, And if I made this cube as a collider, we can do that if we came to the ink cloth menu and create a passive collider. All right, now we can activate the interactive playback. So to do so, we can come to fields and solvers and choose interactive playback. Now, as you can see, every time the cube hits the sphere, the sphere tries to recover to its original form and acts more like an air balloon or something like that. But this is not what we want. We want to have the sphere behaving more like a hard surface object and seeing the deformation of the glide appears on the surface. So let's let's just first uh, before we dig deeper into settings, I need to go to the into the nucleus one and under solver attributes and increase the sub steps to nine and the maximum collision iteration to twelve. It will slow our scene a little bit, but that's very critical and very important to the accuracy of our simulations. It's very you should do this every time you play with ink cloth inside of Maya. 
Back to the ink cloth simulation again, and the one factor that will control this effect that we want to achieve is this restitution angle. And instead of 360, we can make it like 2. Now, if we interactive playback this, so what's happening now, as you can see, it's accepting the deformation. And now we can play with it and reshape it. And every time we do a hit on it, we are damaging the surface of the sphere and it's becoming more like a hard surface object. And all of that because we decreased this one factor, which is the restitution angle. So, yeah, so what we can do now is take this concept and let's apply this on something much bigger and more complex. So I'm going to make a cube and that will serve me as our proxy for Inkloth. So the idea now is to try to get as much as I can from the overall shape of the object. In this case, it will be our car. So it's very important to set the height of the cube to match the exact roof position of the car because our glider will hit the roof first. And as you can tell, I'm adding edge loops to give me a better control to match the shape of a car. And jumping to front views and different views, just trying to get the shape right and as much close as possible. And we ended up with something like this. I went over and I spent more time and have pre-made uh, this one. Okay, so let's hide the car for now and play with this proxy for a while. Let's first turn this to ink cloth object. Now, if I hit play, it will fall down, as you can tell, so we can use a plane. And we can check the use plane option. And now let's jump to the ink cloth shape one. And in the panel resistance, let's make this 150. And for the deform resistance, let's make it to 1. And let's jump to the nucleus one. And under solver attributes, let's increase the values for the substeps to 9. And for the max collision iteration to 12. Alright, so what I want to do now is I want to set up the initial state. So I will play this simulation and just when it's about to settle, I will pause the simulation. And I will go to the Fields and Solvers menu and set the initial state for selected. Alright, so now let's make our collider body. So to do that, I will use a cube and I will turn this to an ink cloth object. And now if you hit play, as you can see, the cube falls, but it has no effect on the object. So what we can do is to increase its mass to have a much stronger impact. So after many trials I have increased the mass to 50 and that just started to give me the effect. So let's come to the proxy in cloth settings and decrease the restitution angle to from 360 to 2. Alright, so here is a final setting that I've ended up using for the ink cloth proxy settings. For the bit resistance, I have made this 150, and for the restitution angle, made this 1, and for the deformation resistance also made this 1. And for the collider body, instead of having just one cube as a collider, I have made a mesh network. 
and I have turned them to ink off optics. Now if I hit play, as you can see, it has a very strong effect and you can see the deformation happens. Alright, so let me show you how I made this mesh network. It's very simple to set up actually. All I did was I took this cube and made a mesh network out of it. To move around the scene, I added a transformation node and connected to a null. Then in the mesh distribute node, instead of having them distributed along the X, I changed that to be along the Y axis and I added the random node to randomize the position and the rotation. Then I took this whole system and made an ink of object out of it. And now, if you hit play, they are going to hit the proxy, but it has no effects, so we need to increase its mass to 100. And there you go, start to deform our object. Alright, so now let's take a look at the wrap deformer and how it works. So, I will make a sphere and I'm going to create a cube and then I want the sphere to control the cube. So to do that I will select the cube first, then the sphere last, then I will open the modeling menu under the form and I will select the wrap deformer. And now what's going to happen is, is the cube will mimic the position, the scale and the rotation of the sphere. And if you came under the wrap deformer itself, we can find a checked box on the auto weight threshold. If you uncheck that, now we can control the max distance, which basically is a fall off. So you can have the deformation happens to the whole object or a part of it. But for now, we will just leave this box checked on. Alright, so back to our scene here and the only thing that's left here is to connect this to our car. So if I hit play now, as you can see, the deformation happens to the proxy. So we need to transfer this deformation to our car through the wrap deformer. So it's very easy to do that. All I have to do is select our car, which is this here, and then select our proxy. Then go to deform and choose wrap. Okay, now we can hide our proxy and I will reveal the card. So let me make a play place of this. Alright, so that's all for today. Hopefully you've learned some cool tricks and we will see you next time.